that encouraged me to pursue STEM in college and she has always supported uh, my love of uh, the sciences ever since I was really young. My family have always encouraged me and my brothers have a similar interest in STEM which has always helped. All my teachers in school definitely encourage me, particularly in my STEM subjects and I have many female role models in STEM. The main people that encouraged me to study in STEM were my family. Um, I had a keen, keen interest in science and engineering um, always through secondary school. Um, so they always supported me in studying the subjects I wanted to do and if I ever needed help, they'd always try their best to help me. I had a great physics teacher in fifth and sixth year who was really enthusiastic about physics and that really encouraged me. And I found too when I went to UL that lecturers who were passionate about their subject were really encouraging. There are many different people that I've met throughout my time in school and in college that could be role models in STEM. However, first of all I'd look to my biology teacher in secondary school and then my careers guidance teacher who was also very helpful. My mom also works in the farm industry and I definitely look up to her. When I was doing my CEO I was so confused like everyone is. Um, like I said, I had I had everything down on it. I had fashion design and I had uh, journalism. Um, my mom uh, works in STEM, so that could have been why that I ended up going into STEM instead of those things. My other interests they could definitely be nurtured in other ways besides career. It really wasn't until that I did placement that I really thought that I saw other women in my department and uh, people that were higher up, like you know, in managerial roles, like women. That I was like, oh my god. I want to be like that, that's what I want to do. Honestly, in secondary school, I didn't have a STEM role model. And at that stage, STEM wasn't something that was heavily encouraged as an option. My parents were always really supportive of whatever I took an interest in. So when I showed an interest in STEM, they were already on board right away. I did feel somewhat disadvantaged as I felt I was entering into a STEM course blind, as none of my family worked or studied in STEM before, but it was really one of the best decisions I ever made. I'm so lucky that my teachers in school, especially the science ones, were so encouraging and helpful when I was deciding what to do and they really made me feel like I was good enough to do physics. When I started in physics, I didn't really have any role models. I knew of the famous ones like Albert Einstein, but I didn't have anyone I felt I could relate to. But in the last four years, that has completely changed. There are so many inspiring women and people in STEM and in physics, like Sarah Fina Nance and Jocelyn Bell Burnell and Merit Moore, who's a quantum physicist and a professional ballerina. How cool is that? But role models don't need to be famous people or historic people or people in the news. Some of my biggest role models are people that I've worked with. I come from a very like sciencey background, if you will. My mom is a nurse, my stepdad is a nurse, so I've kind of just had that influence growing up. But I suppose like just in school, I had an amazing chemistry teacher, like shout out to you miss, like she was great and she really influenced like my decision in making, you know, this choice to choose chemistry. But even just my mom as well, like going back, like she's my role model, like she literally, she's such an amazing woman. And I remember like just her talking about like, you know, her job and how passionate she is about her job and stuff like that. So that just made me want to do something that would make me equally as passionate, you know what I mean? So I think it's just a couple of people, but for the most part, my mom. I would say initially my maths and physics teacher was my role model. Uh, she encouraged me to pursue a career in a STEM field. I also think my dad was a big influence. I think he's an engineer at heart, always making things and fixing things. So I think that's where my love of engineering began. I just didn't realise it until recently. I've also looked up to people throughout college and people I've worked with, uh, especially some of the women I've worked with, have um, really impressed me and have had a big influence on me. Why not? Choosing physics, I knew that even if I decided not to pursue a career in it afterwards, all of the skills that I would gain, like problem solving, analytical thinking, creativeness, and perseverance dealing with some tricky problems, would be really helpful and beneficial no matter what I decided to do. I would encourage anyone to consider a career in STEM because there's so much opportunity and flexibility out there. Studying STEM puts you in the position to be at the forefront of technology whether that's in healthcare and biotechnology or software development or fintech. Endless opportunities will be available to you. One STEM course can lead to many different job roles and there are also opportunities to travel. Although here in Ireland, we are very lucky that there are many STEM industries right on our doorstep. 
For my experience, a STEM course is a great choice. I think that even if you don't pursue a career in STEM, the skills you learn through a STEM course are really useful and transferable. I would encourage anyone with any interest in maths or science to go into engineering, uh, particularly if you're not quite sure what you want to do. Um, engineering has such a huge range of areas uh, from working on buildings and airplanes to making medical devices or new medicines. Um, there's surely something there that will pique your interest. There are loads of opportunities in STEM careers. If you're interested in STEM, if you like science and you like food, or just generally you're interested in health, I'd highly recommend my course. It's a very broad course and it gives opportunities in both the pharma industry and in the food industry. In third year, you get a whole eight months placement and that's a great thing to try and figure out what you actually want to do. So I think STEM is the future and if you're thinking about it or you're a little bit unsure, that's completely okay, especially at the stage you're in now, like it's completely fine to be uncertain. But if there's an advice I can give to you, I think you have to be proactive. Like, and what does being proactive look like for you? is asking questions. I definitely, definitely, definitely say to you, if you're interested in working in you know, anything in STEM, I say go for it, like, you know, it's only gonna go up from here. STEM is also really broad, like even physics, there are so many different areas, whether you're working in particle physics or archaeoastronomy or volcanology, you can find an area of science that you like and apply it to problems that you care about. Well, I would always encourage someone to study STEM if you're interested in STEM. I think that's the most important thing. If you're interested in a subject, um, then you're more likely to be interested in studying it and you won't mind studying it. Um, so for me, I started off in engineering choice and then I decided to choose chemical engineering. Um, and then when I finished college, there was loads of different opportunities as well. So you could go into research, the lab work. Um, there's different types of engineers, so you could be a process engineer, equipment engineer, there's loads of other ones. I'm actually working as an automation engineer, which is something different and I didn't really think I'd ever be working on something like that. And there's loads of different opportunities when you're finished, like you're not stuck in something once you started either, like there's loads of different opportunities when you finish it. With the COVID pandemic, we've really seen a rise in biological therapies and vaccines, medicines, and I encourage any of you that have any interest in biology or chemistry to pursue those subjects. It's such a growing market and there will be so many doors open for you when you finish. When you work in industry, you're at the forefront of production of innovation for that industry. It's so interesting and like people don't actually realize how interesting it is like you learn all the basics in college like you're learning all the foundation theory for all of this stuff but then when you go into industry you're really looking at the cutting edge newest technology year in year out everything is newer better and things are changing so much like I think that's the same for every single kind of STEM course and it's the best thing about doing STEM is, is that you're always engaged. consider a career in STEM? Will you 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 consider a career in STEM?